The Buckeye Spring 50, the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. The Nutrient Ag Solution sponsored 49 at the Nutrient Ag Solution Start Zone. Next time around, Rob Penrod, the veteran chief starter, along with Rick Monroe up at Eldora Speedway here tonight at Atomic. Glad to have you with us, Rick. Rick, well, Rob. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's see. We've had some pretty good racing here. See if we can top off this night. Don't forget the sport mods and the 305 sprints will wrap up the night. And it'll be still live here on Map TV on Flow Racing. So stay with us. Jonathan Davenport and Jimmy Owens, the second and third all time winningest drivers in the Lucas Oil 8100 series at the Nutrient Act Solution Start Zone. This is your Dixie Chopper Field of Thunder. Davenport out in front. Jimmy Owens second side by side. Battle for third. McCready trying to get his first win for Rocket One off a of turn four. It's JD out in front, Carl. Rocket up. These guys can wheel a can. There's nothing like late model racing, is there? Tim That's McCready is real. High bank. Yeah, and then Bobby Pierce is right now back into the four. And Pierce was fifth. JD still leads off a of turn four. Three in the books of 50. Owens is second. Marler, Pierce, McCready, O'Neill, Garrett Smith, seven. Hoffman is eighth. Thornton and Dalton Wilson, your top ten. Jonathan Davenport looking for his second win of the season in the Lucas Oil Late Monday Series. And the Dave Warren Power Sports Caution is out. Turn two, it's Dennis Herb Jr. So Dennis Herb Jr. got in the race after Tyler Carpenter was light at the scales after winning the second B main. By the way, you can go to DaveWarrenSegway.com to register for that 2024 Segway UT10 side by side that we will give away at Eldora. Carson Ferguson takes the Paler Motorsports 93 to the hot pit. The heartbeat hot sauce hot pit. Scott Fagner, the crew chief down there. So Carson Ferguson in Lincoln, North Carolina. Former Spring Nationals champion as they're going to take the hood, I believe, off trying to, well, they're trying to fix. Trying to get that hood back down on, well, on the 93 car. In the Franklin Enterprises, Hoopaw. Entry, Coltman Farms. Bringing out the heavy artillery there, Carl. It's not, you can't see there. They're working on the right front. I don't know if it's the bumper or if The it's... bumper got bent back a little bit or what, so we'll see. And he rolls along, does Carson Ferguson. Pretty good run last night at Brownstown. As he will back out on the racetrack on the back. So three laps in the books. It's Davenport, Owens, Marler, Pierce, McCready, your top five. Then it's O'Neill, Smith. Hoffman, Thornton, and Dalton Wilson, your top 10 here with 47 to go. So we'll do Delaware double file restarts till 10 or less laps to go in this race. Jimmy Owens, let's see what he's going to pick on his good buddy Mike Marler. Those two grew up modified combatants for many, many years now, dirt late model superstars. Hard to get a signal here, isn't it? I'm trying to update my, my race pass. All right, lights is out. Lights are out at the flag stand. <laughs> Three in the books, 47 to go. Jonathan Davenport is your race leader. Again, the caution for Dennis Herb Jr. All right, here we go. Davenport at the Nutrient Act Solutions restart zone. Green is back out at Atomic. Marler's going to work the outside. Mikey's going to go to second. Owens right through the middle. Pierce on the bottom. Here comes Rocket One. Tim McCready down the back straightaway in one. Garrett Smith into the back of Bobby Pierce. 
Garrett Smith there. There was contact between the 10 and the 32. Pierce on the outside of McCready into one. Four laps in the books. 49, 157, 21, 32. Davenport right now, nine tenths of a second last time around over Myler. Jimmy Owens right now in third. Fourth is Tim McCready. First weekend driving for the Rocket One House car to turn number two for Mark Richards racing down the back straightaway. They take that high line. There's O'Neill's seventh. Thornton is eighth. Ten points separated those two. Heading in a nine in the championship point standings into turn number one. And Thornton, let's see if he's going to throw the slider. He'll leave Huddy some room down the back straightaway. Down the main straightaway. It's still the 49. It's not going to be very long. They're going to pick up the tail end of the field. Right now they're entering turn three and four. Davenport is entering three and four. Marler's cut the lead down. It was eight-tenths of a second last time around. Mikey Marler had a good hot rod last night. Went with a little bit harder compound than any than a couple of other guys up there in the front. And we got a Dave Warren Power Sports caution, and it's for Drake Troutman in car seven. Uh, see if we will take that lap. We will not. It's the leader plus three in the Lucas Oil Series. Did not do that. So we're going to go back to lap seven as Drake Troutman, the Heinemann, Pennsylvania driver, takes the seven to the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit, and he is no urgency for him. So seven in the books. Jonathan Davenport is led from the drop of the green as Troutman as the crew comes over, checks it out. They're looking the rear end of the Longhorn number seven. You know, James, I think Davenport probably okay with that caution. They were, they were really backed up in front of him. It looked like a Chick-fil-A drive-through line. <laughs> I mean, they were double Everybody wide. Everybody offered the service of Chick-fil-A. It'd be a better world, <laughs> wouldn't it? Well, it could be terminal for the seven. Oh, yeah, we had traffic last night at Brownstown, but that was pretty entertaining. The that played a big plenty of potential there. Is yeah. Well, traffic was a big him out of the way. Yeah. Was a big deal, big part of it last night. Yeah. All right, Davenport will be your leader. Marler is now second on the restart, so Mikey's going to pick the top on Owens. Then it's McCready, Pierce, Garrett Smith, O'Neill, Thornton, Tyler Herb is ninth in car one, and then Dalton Wilson 10th, Nick Hoffman 11, Devin Moran 12th. So Devin Moran, some work to do to go back to back in Ohio and Indiana. All right, JD, three-time series champion, looking for championship number four this year. He'll be full-time. A lot of full-timers in the Lucas Oil Late Mother Dirt Series. One million dollar point fund as they come off a of turn four back underway at the Nutrient X Solutions restart zone into turn one. Got Jimmy Owens to get there. Go to the outside and leave Marler plenty of room down the back straight away. As they work lap eight, McCready is running in fourth. Bobby Pierce now Pierce to go to the outside. As they come off a of turn four, eight scored. So right now, get a look at who is out of the race. I believe Troutman is the Troutman is the only car out of the race. As they come off a of turn four, it's still J.D. showing the way. The driver out of Blairsville, Georgia. Out of turn number two. Dominated. Not all that far away at Eldora Speedway, of course, over the last, what, five or six years. They come battle there. Here comes Hoffman, Garrett Smith, Dalton Wilson, Moran on the bottom at 99, 10 scored. Mike Marler still second. Jimmy Owens third. Tim McCready fourth. Bobby Pierce is fifth. Jonathan Davenport started on the victory fuel pole. Heads into turn one. Last time deficit was 1.1. It's still at 1.1 seconds. But now, tail end of the field, R.J. Conley, the defending track champion here at Atomic. A little bit different line for both drivers. Davenport swings it out. Marler swings it out way wider as they go into turn one. They get back to that top. Fast way around here. Out of down the back straight away into turn three. Now you see Davenport breaks it into turn four. Marler will follow as swings it out wide down the main straightaway. 12 complete. Make a 13 complete. My bad. As they come out of turn two now, the tail end of the field. You got two by two in front of him, Carl. 
Which way is Davenport going to go? And here comes Marler, and here comes Jimmy Owens, Carl Cruzy. It is a three-way battle with a big traffic jam right in front of them. Leader's choice is going to make a big difference on how this race turns out. 275 after a Bengals game. As they go into three, Davenport will work the bottom. Marler right there. Here comes Mikey to the outside. And, oh, man, Marler to the outside. Davenport still. No, Marler takes the lead. Mike Marler takes the lead. Last night we had six lead changes among three drivers. We've had two in the first 15 laps here. Marler. Here comes Owens. Here comes McCready. Here comes Pierce. And Marler by half a car length still <laughs> leads into one. Oh, baby. 16 in the record books. One, five, seven. Out at two. Oh, man. Davenport retakes the lead. What a move. That might be a slicker, slickest move of the race. Brought to you by Slicker Graphics right there as he retakes the lead in 49. On lap 17. They are going out at Marler. Oh, oh it's right in front of him. Is Marler. Here comes McCready. Here comes Pierce. Oh, oh and no. Dave Warren Power Sports caution is no. out for boom. Oh, man. 17 scored. This was awesome. Oh, oh. Davenport. He took the lead. There was four of them four right of them together. Right there. Owens McCready. Ugh. From first to sixth, O'Neill is sixth. 1.7 seconds from first to sixth. <laughs> That's about a car Maybe. length and a half. <laughs> Boom breaks to the heartbeat hot sauce hot pick. So, hot pit. So, Davenport led the first 14 laps. Marler led laps 15 and 16. Davenport, and that's got to be a slicker graphic, slickest move of the race so far by Davenport coming off of two. That was outstanding. Tiffany Swisher doing a great job, all of our crew. It has been brutally, well, I, I don't want to say brutally cold. We've been colder, but, man, the last two nights, they have been on top of their game. As Boom Briggs on the Heartbeat Hot Sauce Hot Pit. So right now, we've got just one car out of the race, Drake Troutman, to finish 29. So it'll be Davenport and Marler, Owens, McCready, Pierce, your top five. Then O'Neill, Thornton, Herb, Hoffman, Moran, 10th. Then Wilson and then Josh Rice, Spencer Hughes, Max Blair, who is 14th. He was the Todd Steel Building's hard charger a night ago. Wow. Got something neat going on. Uh, of course, the, the Snowco Race Fuels Road to Wheatland. Hellraiser Jacks coming on board for the uh, pit crew challenge at the Show Me. That's fun. Check that out on our uh, website, Facebook page, lucasdirt.com, Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series on Facebook. And Dan to here. Can we go two nights back to the back? All right, Davenport, 17 scored. Your leader, Marler Owens. McCready again. Between the, yeah, that's unbelievable. We're only 17 laps into it. Yeah. Right. Boy, if we can just stay green, man, that traffic makes it interesting. Then we still have 28 cars running. Yes, Carl. McCready was coming. Oh, yeah. He was sneaking up there. They were battling yep. up front, and he was coming. Yep. This is fun. All right, 17 down, 33 to go at the Nutrient Act Solutions Restart Zone. We are back underway in Atomic. The last five or six laps have been outstanding. McCready goes to the outside of Pierce into three. J.D. will lead him off of four. McCready takes a peek on the inside of Owens. Into turn one, 18 scored, seven tenths of a second. The lead for Davenport over Marler. Jimmy Owens still third, McCready fourth, Pierce fifth, O'Neill sixth. Then it's Thornton, Moran is up to eighth. Moran gained two spots on that restart. As the 99 working the bottom, there you go alongside Ricky Thornton Jr. Moran, he's going to throw the slider up the track in front of Thornton. He'll gain another spot. Devin Moran on the move in 99. He started back in 11th. And right now, he is going to go, and Thornton got him back. Moran eighth. <laughs> David will throw it up again. 
Han Thornton. Down the back straight away. They're going to side by side, door to door, wheel to wheel. And they're still at it side by side down the main straightaway. Davenport still leads. You're not missing anything up front. Meanwhile, Marler has cut it to eight tenths of a second. And again, they're going to pick up the tail in the field. It's going to get interesting here in a few more circuits. As they enter the turn number one. And the Dave Warren Power Sports Caution is back out on the track. And it's on the back side of the back straightaway for Verona, Kentucky's Josh Rice. Who is running in ninth, Carl Cruzy. Rice was up to ninth in car 11. And we'll see what happened to the two-time Ralph Latham Memorial winner in car number 11 as he heads into the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit. Still only one car out of the race. It's all right. We'll get it, Tiffany. You're doing fine. And James Rice's brother down there. Hey, I want to give a shout-out to Jerry Rice, their dad, James and Josh's. Been under the weather there for a month or so. Check the replay. What happened on the 11 car for the two-time Spring 50 winner, Carl? Let's see what happens. Just over the cushion. Over the cushion. Got up there on the access road to the racetrack. All right, 21 laps scored. So it'll be Davenport, Marler, Owens, McCready, Pierce, top five. Sixth is O'Neill. Seventh, Moran. Eighth, Thornton. Ninth. Was Rice, ninth on Athby Hoppin, 10th is Herb, Max Blair. Max Blair started 17th, he's now 10th. Now he's now 11th. See Davenport over there trying to keep those tires. Cool, all right, 21 in the books. We're four shy of the halfway mark. Here's Marler and Owens. Second and third, two different leaders in this race. Again, Davenport led the first 14 laps. Marler led laps 15 and 16. Davenport's led ever since. But I got a feeling that may not be our last lead change in this race. All right. Nutrinac Solutions restart zone with 21 score here at Atomic. Davenport will lead him into turn one. Here comes Pierce on the bottom. Moran as well in 99. You just get a feeling Devin Moran's going to be there at the end, Carl. As they go into turn number three, off of four, Davenport. It's going to get sporty again with 22 scored, Carl Cruzy. Yeah, Moran's just taking his time, picking them off one at a time. He's up to what, like that 6-7 spot right now, but he's got Pierce right in front of him, and Pierce showing a lot of speed, battling with Tim McCready now. 32 in the rocket one, Pierce and McCready. Tim McCready back to fourth. 23 complete, it's eight-tenths of a second. Mike Marler trying to stay close to the 49. Jimmy Owens will follow in third. Tim McCready fourth, and it's Pierce Moran. He'll hop in back to eighth. Thornton, Max Blair's to 10th. Max Blair's got a good hot rod for the second nine in a row, the 111. An early contender for the Todd Steel Building's hard charger. They're three wide back here. We may have to triple box this thing at some point. Look at this battle right here. And I tell you what, Max Blair is going to gain another spot. And he gets around Dalton Wilson. Max Blair breaking into the top 10. He'll now go behind Thornton, who's ninth. Here comes Dalton Wilson on the bottom, throws it in. He'll back out of it. And Blair still has the spot. Davenport, 26 complete for 49. Mike Marler, Jimmy Owen still second and third. McCready, Pierce, Moran is sixth. O'Neal, Hoppin, Thornton, Blair, 10th. And it's Wilson, Hughes, Alberson. Garrett Alberson took a provisional, started 23rd. He's up to 13th. He's picked off 10 cars here. There's Blair. Spencer Hughes will get a run on the outside in his new team, JCM Motorsports, Colton Miller, that team based in Birmingham, Alabama. Blair, the Brad Spochaz, Centerline Motorsports, 111. As Dalton Wilson has got back around him now. Meanwhile, Dalton, uh, Jonathan Davenport's going to pick up the tail end of the field, the 93 of Corey Lawler. 29 complete. Still only one car out of the race, and that's Drake Traumann with seven laps scored. He did. Completed seven laps out of the race. 28 still left with 29 starters. 
Yeah, Jonathan Davenport and Marler, Jimmy, oh, your top three into one. Oh, look out, they get together in turn two, and Josh Rice and R.J. Conley contact there on lap 30. Not sure what happened there. Caught that out of the corner of my Carl. We did get 30 scored. Here's the MAV TV on Flow Racing Replay. Right in front of your leaders, and we get that after. The back, Conley and Rice. I think Conley just smoked her in there a little hot and tried to get her backed up and uh, caught Rice in the left rear quarter panel and uh, just sent them both. Josh says, I've had enough. As he heads back to the pit. It'll be the second car out of the race. Well, he was running 26. There will be better days for the Rick Jones 11. Yeah, he was 26. Conley was 25th at the moment of. Uh, Man, we just getting in. That was the back of the field right there. And Davenport will lead 30 down, 20 to go. Yes, sir. Davenport by himself is fast, really fast. Well, that was the problem he had last year, if you recall. He's out in front, and he had some issues. We got some debris on the racetrack. Marler much, much better in traffic. Yeah. He was good last night. If he didn't have a caution there, he might have won that race. Last year's C.J. Rayburn Memorial winner at Brownstown, Mike Marler. So it's Jonathan Davenport, Mike Marler, Jimmy Owens, Tim McCready, and the Heartbeat Hot Sauce Hot Pit is for Garrett Smith. He was inside the top ten. He was running now back in the 22nd, but for the first part of this race in the top ten. So it's Davenport, Marler, Owens, McCready, Pierce, your top five. Then it's Moran, O'Neill, Hoffman, Thornton, Dalton, Wilson, top ten. Blair, Hughes, Alberson, Stricker, and Herb. Adam Stricker started 20th, up six spots. Well, Max Blair had worked his way to 10th. He's back in 11th right now. So Carl Marler will have the option, and he's going to pick the top on Owens. 20 to go. Hudson O'Neill getting some work done down there. k and Rumley Longhorn, d &E Marine entry. Oh. No, well, he's going to the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit. He just got a tire down in 71. So the driver's second of the points, just 10 behind Ricky Thornton Jr., the defending series champion, into the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit. I believe it's a left rear, yes, down on the 71. He was running in seventh. So everybody gets courtesy laps. It has a tire completely down, and he gets stopped down there. And the officials tell him he's got a left rear tire. Kevin Rumley. Again, this is just for this weekend. We'll see after this weekend what exactly happens. There's his dad, Don O'Neill, 2014 champion. Daniel Adam also into the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit. Coming out back in the 75, moving back uh, to Illinois from Wade, North Carolina. So we'll get them singled out. We did. We'll get them De Delaware double file. Again, we'll do that till 10 or less laps to go to be single file. So we're 10 laps away from that happening. As a tire change on the 71. So he'll give up the seventh spot, and he'll have to go to the end of the long line here of cars still on the lead lap. So Troutman is out. Rice is out. There's O'Neill. All right. Light is out at the stand. So new Tunex Solutions restart zone for the 49. Double L Motorsports, Lance and Darla Landers. Team based in Batesville, Arkansas. As they head down the back straightaway. 20 to go. Davenport, Marler, and Owens off of turn four. The new Tunex Solutions restart zone. And we're back underway at Atomic. Pierce gets that run on the bottom. Can he make it stick? He'll slide up. Jimmy Owens is there trying to go three wide. Here comes Rocket One. Here comes McCready. Here comes Moran in 99. I mean, if this thing can stay green, it's going to be something else here in the last uh, 
19. Oh, man, contact between 32 and their own one of McCready. Here comes Hoffman on the bottom in nine. How will that affect the one car as he heads down the back straightaway? And battling back here. Man, they are going at it two and three wide. And Moran in 99 gets around Pierce. Devin Moran is up to fourth. He started in 11th. And he won last night at Brownstown for the first time in his career. Trying to go back to back in the Lucas Oil Late Mud Dirt Series. There is McCready and Thornton. They run sixth and seventh. Hoffman is eighth. Max Blair to ninth. Garrett Alberson is up to tenth. How about that? R.C. Whitwell coming on as the crew chief from 23rd to 10th for Garrett Alberson in 58. A good run for him. Meanwhile, Davenport cruising right along, 1.3 seconds. You're not missing anything up, but he's got about a 10 car length lead. 12 make it off of turn four as we work lap 35 off of turn four. Davenport has had the best lap of this race. The last lap, he was the fastest car. But when he picks up the tail end of the field, how will it affect him? 14 laps to go this time around. Marler trying to stay within eye shot of him. 14 to go into one, 36 in the books. Jonathan Davenport out of turn two, 75 career wins in the Lucas Oil Eight Monitor Series, three-time champion as he comes off at turn number four. Down the main straightaway, 13 to go. Here comes Marler. He's cut it down to 1.5. Good battle for third. Jimmy Owens and Devin Moran, 20 and 99. Fifth. Runs Bobby Pierce. So Davenport, Marler, Owens, Moran among the drivers that are part of that group of 10 in a row, 10 different winners. Pierce has not won yet this year. McCready has won, so is Thornton. Nick Hoffman has never won a Lucas Oil race. Blair is ninth. Alberson is 10th. Neither won this year in the Lucas Oil Late Motor Dirt Series. Alberson has never won. At some point, it's going to happen. Dalton Wilson did it down at East Bay. Meanwhile, Moran battles on the bottom with a 20 of Owens. Moran and Owens. And Devin Moran gains another spot. Moran up to third, 10 to go. It's still Davenport. Here comes Marler, slides to the inside of Lawler. What does Moran have? Moran may have it working on the bottom. Here comes Devin Moran to 99, keep an eye on him. He's one of the fastest cars on the racetrack, even though Davenport... That time around, it was Moran. Yes, Moran. How about that by five-tenths of a second, Carl? Moran on the move at 99 in his home state. Got to get around the 17 double S of Brandon Smith. The lead is eight-tenths of a second for Davenport off a turn two around R.J. Conley. Any caution from here on out will be a single-file restart. There's the battle. The deficit between 157 and 99 for second and third. 43 laps put up on the board for 49. Jonathan Davenport, it was 1.2 seconds the advantage. Heavy traffic off of turn four. RJ Conley, the defending track champion here between the middle of 157 and 99. They got to make hay out of turn number two. Here comes Moran to 99. A little bit of a stumble for the 157. Into turn three, Carl. Moran's eyeing it. Five laps to go down the front straightaway. If this thing stays green, I don't know. Davenport's got a pretty good lead, but it's a good battle for second place. Yeah, Moran could possibly still get Marlar, but I think he's just too far back to do anything with Superman. 1.2 the deficit last time around. Davenport. Four laps to go. Down the back straightaway. It's Davenport, Marler, Moran, Owens, Pierce, McCready, Hoffman, Thornton, Blair, Alberson, your top ten. Moran takes a shot on the inside. Almost got into the back left rear quarter panel. Be backed out of it in a one. Now Moran's going to go to the outside. Marler's going to have to go up top. He will lose his momentum. But Moran has got to get around R.J. Conley right now because they're going to have two to go coming up. Davenport is one second ahead. And here comes Marler. No lapped cars between first and second with two to go. Well, the Barrett's performance, one lap to go. It was exciting last night. Marler is not done yet. Here they come off at turn four. The white flag. Does Marler have anything for Davenport? Final lap. Moran is third. He's too far back, though. The Barrett's performance, one lap to go. Down the back straight away. Can Davenport get boxed in? He's got enough deficit between him and Garrett Smith. Marler's closing, but Jonathan Davenport is going to lead wire to wire at Atomic here tonight. 
He takes the win in 49. Pending the UN 08 scales, Marler second, Moran third, Owens fourth, Pierce fifth, McCready sixth, Hoffman seventh, eighth, Thornton, ninth, Blair, tenth, Alberson. We'll head down and talk to the top three. They must clear the U108 scales, and we'll talk to the top three. Can you give us the rest of the rundown, Carl? I did the top ten. All right, coming home in that 11th spot will be the 18D of Dalton Wilson. Then it will be the 12th place finisher, the 19M of Spencer Hughes. Tyler Erb in the 1T comes home 13th. Brian Shirley, the squirrel 3S, comes home 14th. Your 15th place finisher, the 93S of Carson Ferguson. Adam Stricker in the number 68, finishing 16th. Then Brandon Shepard in the B5 comes home 17th. Your 18th finisher is Tony Jackson Jr. in the number 25. Then it was Dennis Erb Jr. finishing 19th. 20th was the 99B of Boom Briggs. Then Ross Robinson, 21st in the number 7. Hudson O'Neill ends up 22nd in the number 71. Garrett Smith ends up 23rd in the number 10. Then it was the 71C of R.J. Connolly, 24th. Then Brendan Smith in the 17SS, 25th. Corey Lawler was 26th, Daniel Adam 27th, Josh Rice finishes 28th, and Drake Troutman, your final finisher, coming home in 29th. Jonathan Davenport, though. Your winner for the Buckeye Spring 50 here at the Atomic Speedway. We'll get Victory Lane all set up, get him across the scales, make sure everything is official. Well, race fans, thanks for coming out and braving the cold with us. It was definitely worth it. Great feature. Action-packed 50 laps. And so now we'll just get a word with uh, Jonathan Davenport, your winner, as soon as he makes his way to victory lane. James has already made his way down there. So still to come, race fans. We got our Sport Mod B main, our Sprint Car Heat races, then two features, one for the Sport Mods and one for our 305 Sprint Cars. Well, as soon as they clear the UNO8 scales. We will talk to the top three here in the Big River Steel podium here. Right now, unofficially, Davenport, Marler, and Devin Moran. Well, the streak is over. The last 10 Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series races, 10 different winners. And Davenport, who has a win at East Bay, comes to the Buckeye State of Ohio. You know all of his success at Eldora Speedway. Just a few short miles away, what, hour and a half, two hours away probably. Brings it out on the track, Marler. Second straight podium finish to the 157 Moran on the podium. In the 99 for the second night in a row. Again, fans, thanks for joining us. Glad you can make it out tonight. Glad to get this show in again. We have the 305 sprints and the sport mods as the top two coming at you. How about this? <laughs> Jonathan Davenport and Mike Marler, two of the best in the business right here. Double L Motorsports, that team based in Batesville, Arkansas. Co Corey Fostved, the crew chief of the 49 car. 
76th career win in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Third all-time, only behind Scott Bloomquist and Jimmy Owens, who I believe ran fourth. Well, you know what's going to happen. Here he comes. How about it? Superman, Jonathan Davenport, your winner at Atomic. And the steering wheel drop. Well, you said you'd hope to be back here tonight. Maybe I brought you a little luck. Maybe I need to do this more often down here. But congratulations, man. Great run. Yeah, no doubt. Anytime you can uh, set fast time and win your heat and, and uh, win the feature, you know, it just kind of caps off the, the whole night. So that's awesome, dude. Uh, oh, uh, Mikey, he run me pretty hard there through lap traffic. And, uh, man, it was one time. Lap cars got together up here, and I had to squeeze between them and the wall. Man, that was that was really close right there, but uh, a lot of fun. Timely cautions. We've seen it over and over, and that that helped you out quite a bit. Yeah, it really did. You know, uh, I didn't really know where to be down here on this end early. I thought through the middle would be best, but I kept trying to move my line a little bit, but I never could really get off the corner like I needed to. So I was kind of protecting down there, and. Uh, then I was moving around a little bit one and two, but not much. It's got so much banking down there, but I finally quit staying around and started coming off of it earlier. And then uh, obviously, you know, the track kind of lined up there at the end, but um, you know, what, what can you do when you start at five o'clock? So yeah. uh, d definitely uh, hats off to the track crew. You know, thanks for not giving up on us. Let's just come back here and race on Sunday. Just gotta say hello to everybody watching back home. Uh, thanks to Lance and Darla Landers. Thanks to Steve, Nutrient Ag Solutions, uh, ASC Warranty, um, Dino Growth Seed, uh, Longhorn, Bill Steen, my crew. Uh, They've done a great job with Zach and uh, Corey and uh, Matt. Um, just uh, everybody done a great job. You got to be a slicker graphic, slickest move of the race at turn two. You, you led the first part of that race, and Marler led, what, two or three laps. You got him back coming out of two. What was going through your mind when you made that move? You split right between uh, how many cars you split through. That was a heck of a move. I was just trying to get skinny. You know, I, uh, I thought he, he could probably hear me because uh, I, had, I had it on a floorboard up there above him. And so I was just trying to get to him uh, before we got all the way off of two. And so I wouldn't run off the back straightaway there. And uh, a couple times I got to the outside lap cars there, and I knew they didn't know I was there, so I had to had to back off. But yeah, just uh, thanks for Marlo leaving me j just enough room. And uh, like I said, it, it was a lot of fun battling him through tra traffic. The parity in this series, you know, you broke a string. We'd had ten different winners in the last ten races. You're the first repeat in more than a month. The parity on this series is unbelievable. Yeah, no doubt. It just shows you how how difficult this dirt late model racing is. I mean, we was absolutely horrible last night. Um, you know, if it had stayed green, we'd have probably got lapped. And we we all ha had our heads hanging low uh, when we got up this morning. Uh, but, you know, we, we decided to, uh, you know, j just be strong, work through it, and uh, not, not get down on ourselves. And, you know, come out here, set fast time, pretty much sleep, sleep the whole night. So uh, it, it's just dirt late model racing in general. It's just it's just tough. Thank I just got to say thanks yeah. to all the fans, definitely, for coming out, sticking it through the cold. And it's uh, <laughs> look, finally the wind's died down, yeah. so it ain't near as bad as it was. But uh, say hello to everybody back home once again. Uh, go to 49apparel.com and uh, check us out. And thanks to Jay and the Souvenir Trailer for what he does for us. How about 80 degrees the rest of the year? How about you vote for that? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I always tell everybody I'm more of a tropical person anyway. I, I'd way rather be hot than cold. All right, Jonathan Davenport wins his second Lucas Oil race of the year. Wow. We'll update the points here. He is close. Uh, Thornton will be leading to points, but he's within five. Mikey Mar <laughs> Man, where did he – you had the lead there for a few laps, and Davenport comes off a of two. It's like, man, where did this guy come from, right? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> so, uh, no, we just uh, – you know, he got kind of bunched up there and slid a little bit, and I got him. And then uh, when we entered down here, I thought, well – if I can enter below the lap car and just be half on him on exit, nobody can go around me. Well, I got in there and got free and let and let Jonathan have enough room behind that lap car to cut back in front of me. So uh, that was a big mistake on my end. But you know, it's uh, it's hard racing, it's fun, and uh, me and him had a heck of a race. And uh, 
when they uh, when you quit making mistakes, they'll take racers off pencils. <laughs> That's exactly right. One point, first through f sixth, one point five seconds separated before that one caution. I tell you, before you know, we we got some black out there. This thing was really racy. Oh, it was. Yeah, we raced really good. You know. Uh, uh, we uh, we just the, the 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 cautions played out a little wrong for to have a better race, but it was a really good race. And Atomic's always fun to come here. I was just telling the promoter there, it's fun to race here. Can you race all over it and you load the car up in one piece and don't tear much up? So it's uh, it's always I always enjoy coming here. All right, man. Thanks everybody on the Greg Bruning uh, 157. Yeah, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out again tonight. And I got to thank uh, Lee at Capital Graphics. Uh, he uh, trying to save him a little worker. He's got her looking good. We're, we're keeping her straight here. So that's that's going really well. And Bill Sign Shocks, uh, Swift Springs, VP Fuels, uh, just uh, everybody helps us uh, make this deal happen. All, all of our sponsors, you know, Mesilla Valley and Truck Country, Olsen, Olsen Explosives, Bruning Rock Products, and uh, the Skyline, uh, you know, motorsports teams, uh, we keep getting better and better. I'm real happy with where it's at. How about the crew? Josh Davis, Jerry Sprouse, Cody Smith. we got to show him some love this year, don't we? We do, yeah. Cody's been come on with us there last summer, and uh, the boys thought he, they had seniority over him, but they, we found a picture <laughs> the other day when he was about to my kneecap back when I was running modified <laughs> hanging in pits with me. So, uh, yeah, my crew's uh, my wife, Stacy, and everybody that's, you know, just it's a big old group effort that makes this happen. And we got the, the skyline up north, too, in Iowa. You know, we got Zeb and JD and Tyler and Greg and everybody they're doing. And, and uh, Greg's uh, Greg's been helping watch from, you know, home yeah. and gives me some pointers, too. So, we got a heck of a group. I'm, I'm really uh, just, you know, really feel honored to be a part of it. Where can they get some Mike Marler race wear? Well, just go to Race Ranch. Uh, uh, race Ranch has all my stuff. Uh, Matt there does a really good job. And uh, they got some new stuff. We got some new stuff coming out uh, we're doing with. Uh, um, I can't let the cat out of the bag. We got some cool stuff coming here uh, in a little bit. It's going to be cool. All right, man. Good job. Well, third last night at Brownstown, second here tonight at Atomic, Mikey Marler. Second, Devin Moran drove the wheels off the car. 99, last night's winner. <laughs> I knew you'd come out firing. It took you a while to get going, though, man. That was a heck of a race there for a while. Yeah, it was. You know, this place is just, uh, it's, you can't just pass a car in one lap. It takes a couple laps and, and to maneuver, especially when it gets real slick like that. But uh, Charlie Vest and them guys, they did a great job with the track. I, I thought we were going to be in trouble, and they went out and watered a little bit and uh, just made for a really good race, I felt like. How did that change your strategy? You're set on the tires. Did you, I mean, what what else could you have done, right? Uh, I just needed to qualify better tonight. You know, our, our tire selection, everything, uh, we were pretty limited tonight, so everyone was on the same stuff. But uh, wish wish we could have just started a little further up front. If that caution didn't come out in the heat and I beat Ricky in the heat, I think we may have a chance in the future. But uh, JD uh, did a great job, you know, rebounding uh, from a bad night last night, and uh, that's that's why he's Jonathan Davenport. He's, he's a damn good racer, and obviously Mikey and them guys. But uh, just want to thank Roger Sellers and, and Double Down Motorsports, Robbie Casey, Connor back at home. Uh, to get podium finishes every night, it's, it's, it's a blast. It's got to feel good, doesn't it? It's got to feel good, a first and a third this weekend. Yeah, you know, uh, I had high expectations coming in this weekend. It's always a, two really good racetracks for us. So uh, uh, this uh, double down Longhorn chassis with the Bill Stein shocks and Ibach Race Springs is just uh, on kill right now. And uh, I'm ready to do some more racing. Let's do it. Devin Moran, third here tonight in his home state. Carl, up to you. We've got some more racing here on MAV TV on Flow Racing. We've got the 305 Sprints and the Sport Mods. I see the Sprints lined up in the staging area. Yeah, we'll have two heat races for our 305 Race Saver Sprint cars, and we'll have a B main for the Sport Mods, and then features for both with the Sprint Car feature, I believe, will be up first, and then the Sport Mod feature to wrap up the night. So, race fans, while we got a time, while we got a chance here, we're going to go ahead and take a break. It is the Buckeye Spring 50 from Atomic Speedway. It's MAV-TV on Flow Racing. We'll be right back. <laughs> 